we are starting completely fresh. I am not taking over any of my stuff from my personal account. I am going in completely new, no time traveling. Gonna have to just huff it like I started the first one. The only good thing is that I've already established all of the, the museum and stuff, but everything is gonna be completely from scratch. Yeah, it's gonna be just kind of chill, so definitely this is gonna be your chill stream. Let me know how it sounds, because I've got it playing on my TV and going through the, the, the laptop, so let me know if you hear an echo or anything. They're so cute. This is so cute, I forgot how this started. Yes, my birthday is 420, I don't want to talk about it. Alright, what should we look like? Very pale and colorful. Cool. Um, the only hairstyles I have available to me right now, so I guess we're gonna go with the pig. Ooh. These are all low key, pretty rough. We're gonna go with the Molly Jobs. And, uh, Pigtails are cute. Pigtails are ratchet like these. Ugh. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that one. Uh, the eyes. Goopy eyes. Mm. Bugging out. Anime eyes. I love how like you can differentiate because like one has lashes and one doesn't have lashes. However, in my family, the men have gorgeous eyelashes. My brother has eyelashes that make me cry because they're beautiful. It's not fair that he has those beautiful eyelashes. This one, my eye color is typically green, but I wish I could almost do like a purple color. That'd be fun if our eyes could be like crazy stupid colors. Let's see that one. Nose, mouth, do a tooth, do a tooth, guys. No. Look the cheeks. Okay. It's as good as it's gonna get for right now. I'm gonna buy hairstyles as soon as I possibly can. Everything can be changed. My island is called Boricuen because that is the original indigenous name of the island of Puerto Rico, which is where my family is from. And I mean, they said we're gonna make an island, we're gonna build it up from scratch. I was like, I'm gonna call my island my island. It's my island. A 
free video. Hey, we're getting a free video. Is it literally just the opening? Oh! I've never seen this video before. Or maybe I did, but like, honestly, it's been a year. It's been a year that I think I've owned this game. I think I bought it back in... I think I bought it after my birthday, so it's been almost a year that I've had this game. I like the new setup too. Um, I recently subscribed to Streamlabs Prime for the month. I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to it because we're trying to see what else might come in the works, but um, this theme was one of those themes that's available for you on Amazon, on Amazon Prime, on Streamlabs Prime. So I didn't personally make it. I just threw it on here. I fixed the chat a little bit because it had everything really, really scrunched up and kind of like squishy looking. And I added my little shark guy down there. If you donate a dollar, he levels up and as he becomes stronger and stronger, he changes his little moods and outfits and stuff. It's a little cute thing to add. Um, we've been trying to stream at least once a day. Um, if not, then we're definitely uploading once a day to our YouTube channel. Um, I just made intros and outros today for our YouTube channel, so it's going to be looking quite official. I'm very happy and proud about them. I'm excited to see how the dynamics is going to work between the two houses that I own. Like, I don't know if any of the furniture I can pick up on this character, unless, you know, like, I'm curious to see how, how it plays with multiple accounts on one island. And of course, we're playing super late, so like all of the shops are gonna be closed. I'll probably do another stream tomorrow during the day that way we can actually like progress and like sell things and get some money. Fearless leader. They're so cute. Yeah, give me my tent. I've already got a space picked out. I'm terribly sorry, but due to a slight mix-up, we weren't able to prepare a place for you to live yet. You can take a look around and set up your tent wherever you'd like. That shouldn't be a problem. After all, it's in keeping with our original deserted island theme. That's hilarious. There's something else that you need as well. Hey, I got my phone. I do like the added feature of the phone. So I actually originally owned the very first copy of Animal Crossing back when the original Nintendo DS came out and I loved it. I played that thing every day. Every single day. It was awesome. Um and then due to financial struggles, I was never able to like upgrade my DS to the progressive ones that continued further with the other versions of Animal Crossing. So I don't think that, I think the next like Animal Crossing game I played was like the Pocket Camp app. And then I was so excited when I heard that they were going to be bringing it to the Switch. And I was like, I gotta get the Switch. I gotta get this game. I need to relive this gorgeous, juicy chunk of my childhood that was just so calming and like stress-free and soothing. And let me tell you, it hit right when 2020 did and it was a godsend. I have used a smartphone before. I have one of my own. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I just got a bill. <laughs> Oh, there's my first bell. Oh, 
<laughs> I just love the way that they talk. I know it's the speed. So what happens when he levels up? Okay, so he wasn't that big before. He used to be smaller. He was just the face. It was just the face, and that's all you saw with like two little guppy fins, and now he's got like a whole body. And it's, and, it's, and it's dorsal fin down there at the bottom. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I really don't. All I know is that if you donate, he levels up. And as he levels up, I can add in new pets, and then I can like transfuse those pets together, and then they become a super mega pet. But I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but you got pay bills. So here's the fun part. We spawned in and the shop's closed, which means I can't buy any recipes to make tools. <laughs> so we are gonna just have to woof it. Thousand five hundred left to go. Oh my goodness, look at all these owls. I never knew that so many could Okay, so fun fact that I learned about Animal Crossing is that if there's a little bird perched on top of your notice board, that means you have a message waiting for you. So in during the day it's a little yellow bird. In the evening it becomes an owl. So this means that I have over three messages to check on my board. And then they fly away when you walk close, that way you can go ahead and check them. So this is all of the ones that have been posted previously. You're just gonna go ahead and just breeze through this, that way I don't get notifications. Alright. Wow, that didn't work at all. Okay. Let's see if the birds come back. Um, I am gonna say, that I'm gonna take the recipes. These are extra recipes that my previous char my other character collects during the day, and then we usually leave them. That way, if we have visitors that come, they can see if they need these recipes. I'm gonna grab them. I guess we're just gonna have to take some. We're gonna get seashells to start selling, and we're gonna get um. Oh, I didn't want to take that. My inventory is so small. This game is super cute. Have you never played Animal Crossing before? Or like seen me play Animal Crossing? Okay, apparently I don't have DIY unlocked yet, so we're gonna put that back. I'm gonna throw this back. I'm jumping the gun. I got excited. I gotta unlock things. This inventory space is so small. <laughs> I forgot. Alright, so let's go do one thing at a time. First, let's go set up our tent. Yeah. 
Let's imagine it. Alexa, stop. Her <laughs> dingy little tent. I don't know how we've got mail, but we do. Thank you for downloading our update. Yeah. Thank you for downloading the new Yay. Okay, let's see what those things were. We've got mushroom mural. And a simple DIY workbench. I just still don't know how to memorize it. Alright, let's go talk to them. I'm pretty sure I have to like talk to him in order to get it to be unlocked. Nightbot, thank you so much for showing up. Anyway, Nightbot there has my link for my YouTube channel, which is going to get more and more professional. So definitely click that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. That way you can see our video updates. What we're trying to do right now is that after we're done streaming, we break up the stream into like certain segments. Hello, Robin. Have you decided to come say hello as well? We break up our stream into segments. So instead of watching a two hour video, you're watching like 20 minutes. 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and you're getting like little, little, little niblets of the stream that you might have missed. I love you so much. Robin wanted to come say hello to everybody. Mm. There we go, I gotta do the workshop. Yeah, give me that, give me that workshop. I need your help. Yeah, hi, baby. About that workshop. Thank God he's ready. I don't know how I would feel if Nintendo made you like wait. <laughs> Robin is at my feet right now making the most fierce biscuits into her blanket. I need to find a way to like attach a camera to the bottom of my lap because it looks just straight down that way everybody can see her because she's so cute. <laughs> How many? I gotta, I gotta get. Shit, I wasn't thinking attention. I think I gotta get tree branches. All right, tree branches. Isabella, what's good? I'm gonna sit and talk to So if you look very carefully, her fluff is being held together by a little ribbon that has two bells attached to it. I thought it was a Christmas thing. Cause, you know, Christmas jingle bells, but no, it's because her name is Isabella. So she's got little bells hanging from her fluff. That's what it stood for, automatic bell dispenser. I couldn't remember what the ABD stood for. I just kept using it as an ATM. It's the same process. You just you, it's a depository or you can withdraw bells. It's an ATM. But I knew it stood for something and I couldn't remember what it was. Automatic bell dispenser for the bank of Nova. 
Hey, another 50 miles. I'm gonna have to start doing that daily. Tom Nook sus. No, Tom Nook is a businessman who wants to make money any way he can. go find some sticks. I'm really hoping I don't get any bees because I don't know how to make medicine right now. So we're gonna shake these trees that are close by. Hey, look, money. More money. This money is great, but I need sticks. Oh my god, more money. Okay, so originally my island, I was thinking that I was going to make it an island full of tigers because tigers are my favorite animals. However, I don't like, I don't particularly like the jock personality. I think it's just a little eh. And half of the tigers are jocks. <laughs> so what I'm turning in, into now is kind of like a wayward kind of island theme. So I've got a lot of weirdos plus a lot of tigers. So what I'm also trying to do is just kind of like collect all the photos. You get photos of the island residences after you reach the max friendship level. Of just basically talking to them every day, giving them gifts of high values or things that, that match like their S, their theme or their personalities. Um, and once I get somebody's uh, frame, if they want to move out, they can move out. I don't like keep them. Um, but Bianca, Bianca and Bengal hold a very special place in my heart. These two are my favorites so far, and I just, I love them so much. She's just a little snow tiger, I love her. See, video games to co-op. She's my spirit animal. Like, she's perfect. She's even purple and white. I love it. I love her so much. Look at that tail. So cute! Yeah, you too. You're very cute. You moved your entire blanket over with your biscuit. Yo, Nook Man. Yeah? I know you're not hungry, but I gave you a whole bowl of food. I did find the necessary materials, Nook Man. Let's get started. Oh, we're making a fishing rod. This is good. Fish is good. I can sell fish. Okay. Fishing rod. Hell yeah. I'm not scared yet. Cool. My friend Bailey taught me that if you spam the crafting button, you actually go a lot faster. It cuts off a couple of seconds. I need to play this game. Yo, yes. Buy the game. Please come play with me, it's so much fun. When you come over to my island, you can like fish, you can catch bugs, you can eat the fruit, you can talk to my people. It's it's very relaxing. It's so soothing. It's like Minecraft, but with cats, with animals. Like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. You can you build things, but like you don't build things. You build your house. And that's it. And you craft a lot of things, you can collect things, there's a lot of people to interact with. Um it's, it's, a, it's a game that rewards you for playing every single day. And it is a game that rewards you for playing during the seasons and playing all year round. They had a whole line. Every season gets a line of furniture that you can collect by shooting down balloons or by talking to your residences. That way you can get the entire set. We had to build snowmen. You had to build a snowman every single day in order to get one of the snowflake crafts and then you had to go back and talk to them every single day to get one large snowflake that was necessary in order to craft everything. 
Warframe? What did I say? Did I say Warframe? I said it's like Minecraft? Where are you talking about Warframe? Where did the Warframe come from? I have that game. I don't know. Yeah, you got my biscuits in my toys? <laughs> Hey, look at that. Now I can make recipes. Okay. That's another thing. The fish and the bugs don't even spawn all day long. So, like... If you want to catch a specific fish or a specific bug in order to complete your catalog and get the golden version of these tools, you have to fish or catch bugs at specific times of the day and specific times of the year. Now oh, you are very sharp, my dear. Okay, so now I should be able to learn this. Hey! So now what we were trying to do earlier and collect all these DIYs. <laughs> Part here. And we're gonna go fish. Oh, and then here's Muffy. Muffy is also one of my favorites. She's a goth sheep. Sheep? Sheep. I wish she was in her house because her house is the cutest. She is also gonna stay forever. She's perfect. <laughs> Maybe if I just collect all of the purple animals, that would also be awesome. 